Parliament's Finance Committee yesterday heard explosive testimonies about collusion in the financial services sector. Witnesses lamented how the so-called white cartels still run the South African economy. The Finance Committee heard how the high cost of credit and lack of effective competition in the banking sector created a barrier for small business development. Witnesses shared testimonies of unscrupulous business practices that continue to exclude black people from the mainstream economy. Our small business representatives appealed for government to intervene on their behalf and implement protective legislation. I will tell you what happened to me with APSA Bank. They break their own code of conduct, the, co the banking code of practice. I was under debt review and because of the loophole in the um, Insolvency Act, which by the way <coughs> dates back to 1936, colonial time. The Insolvency Act is in pound sterling. We don't work in pound sterling. It is obsolete. It's draconian. It has no place in South Africa, in our current democ dem democratic society, if I can say that. But no, the banks choose to conveniently use Section 8G, which has been amended, to sequestrate people. So you go on a debt review thinking that you are protected. Nothing is closer from the truth. I was victimized, tormented, due to the fact that I defended this action, which is my constitutional right. I had my house invaded by eight unidentified men. They cut the locks to my gate. Yes, I can see your face. It's like a horror story. They threatened to smash down my front door. They wouldn't allow my lawyer present. I have documentary proof of everything I'm saying today. They stormed my bedroom when I was in bed. I was sick, actually, that day. They would not identify themselves to a day. I do not know who they were. They wandered through my home, scratching through cupboards. You try and do anything about it. You blocked at every turn. It is a disgrace that the banks are allowed to get away with this day in, day out, and they're not stopped. There's a total court capture by the banks. And that there should be legislation to pull them into line. Can we please have a state-owned bank where they get a bit of competition? Because they know that you have to use them. You actually have to use them. You don't have a choice unless you're going to put your money out of the mattress. This industry is captured. It's captured by a white cartel. They know it. They have breakfast. They fly all over the world and they go and fish for blue marlin. What chance do we stand and have? How, what confidence can we get in your CEOs? In fact, all of them are white. You'll find that in the middle management, the procurement uh, directors or procurement managers in insurance companies, are most of them are ex-apartheid policemen. Afrikaner ex-apartheid policemen. And those guys are policing the oppression in this industry. Well, let's listen in to the Finance Committee Chair's reactions. Remember also that this is just the one tranche, I mean one bill in a whole tranche of bills. What we are seeking to do here, we've made this clear on day one, we want to influence the conduct of financial institutions bill that's coming. We don't want the executive to just come with a ready-made bill, we want to do this report relatively quickly and we want to say to them, for example, here's a man from Mr. What's his name? Mr. Mike Brown from Nenbank saying this morning, there's no problem. With uh, we wanted to raise. Why can't you tell people? It's got nothing to do with Oak Bay. Why, why can't you tell people why you close their banks? Mm -hmm. right? So we are very committed. This thing about telling us, you vote for this party. We are here as a majority because of your vote. 